This is a tutorial on how to complete the model for the element project. So we'll make a bore model like this with the nucleus shown with different colored beads for the protons and neutrons. The electrons are shown in energy levels with the black beads. The principal energy levels are the rings. So we combined the different sublevels onto the principal energy levels. So for instance, for sodium, its electron is 2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1. So we are combining the 2s and the 2p onto the second principal energy level, the second ring. The third electron, the third principal energy level has one electron here. Here's another example of a model. This one is gold. Now when your model is complete, I'd like for you to label it with masking tape and then also attach on the fishing line a paper clip onto the end which is used for displaying the model. So notice how this uh, model is set up especially for when there's multiple energy levels. So we have fishing line that goes through each wire loop and then it also the fishing line goes back the other direction to help it to uh, better positioned. The wire loops also, um, this person chose to put the electrons in orbitals which is, which is a nice thing to do. So they put them in pairs indicating that the electrons are paired. So your model will need to accurately represent the electron configuration and the number of protons and neutrons for the metope. So when you find the number of neutrons, remember that you'll need to look at the most abundant isotope. So for sodium, that rounds to 20 for the average atomic mass. So the most abundant isotope we would estimate to be uh, sodium 20, mass number 23. So the mass number minus the atomic number, as for sodium, which is 11, gives you the number of neutrons. So we know then that we have 12 neutrons. So let's take a look at the process for making the model. We'll start off with the nucleus, take some fishing line, and so we'll cut off a large piece of fishing line, then we're going to string beads on there, try to alternate them, <coughs> but it doesn't have to be perfect. alternate the colors. So once you get the beads strung on to the fishing line, then you take one end of the fishing line and start feeding it back through in sort of random spots, beads, and then you pull it tight. So you do that several times. So as you keep doing that, it will start to form into a to a ball, which would be the nucleus of your model. Not really good at arts and crafts, so bear with me here. Okay. 
So we have our nucleus. Once you get your nucleus set up, you can tie off the fishing line. And whenever you tie the fish twice, do a double knot. It holds much better with a double knot. Okay, so we have our nucleus. Now we need to start setting up the energy levels. <coughs> For the energy levels, use wire. I got this 24 gauge steel gal galvanized wire at Home Depot. It's a few bucks, four or five bucks for a spool like this. Has a wire cutter on there, but you might also find it easier just to use some regular wire cutters. You'll need a pretty long piece of wire because if you think about the size to wrap around this thing, and sometimes you can kind of preview it like this. So that size in centimeters is about 20 centimeters. So we need a pretty long piece of wire. And we'll want to form it into a loop that looks nice, looks neat. I figured out a new use for Erlenmeyer flask. Take an Erlenmeyer flask and fit the wire over the flask like that, and then push down with some pressure, it's a little easier, straight up like this, push down and kind of even it out, and it will make a nice ring for the wire. You need to loop around, make a loop on one end, sometimes it's easier to like push it up against the table. Careful with this wire, it's easy to get poked. So I loop one end, and then we'll need to feed on the electrons. So I use these smaller beads for the electrons. <coughs> so feed on the correct number of electrons for the principal energy level. And then they'll get glued in place. So there's different ways to do it. You could spread them out evenly. Please don't just all cluster them all though in one spot. Or you could also put them in pairs like uh, on this example, which is, which is kind of nice because it, it indicates the idea of orbitals. So I'm just going to show them spread out. Now to get them to stay, use some tacky glue. <clears throat> so you just need a little bit of tacky glue. And use a toothpick, a toothpick you can dab into the glue and dab the glue onto the wire where you want to put the bead and then push the bead onto the glue. You need to wait a few minutes for that to dry and then you can and the beads should stay in place. At that point, you'll need to loop the end, the other end. If your wire gets sort of bent out of shape in that process, then put it back onto the Erlenmeyer flask. Put it back on, straighten it out if necessary. Fix it. Then you hook these loops together. And now you need to string together the wire loops and the nucleus. <coughs> so you take your fishing line and run it through run it through the loops. A couple of times.
and try to get it so it's evened out then tie a knot so the nucleus is in the middle off Then you're also going to take the other end of your fishing line and the other end will go backwards. It's a little tricky to get this figured out here. Let me just show you the example. So you take the one end, you tie it into each loop like this, do a double knot for each, and then take the other end of the line and go backwards to even it out. You can also do fishing line on the side if, if that doesn't work, that doesn't get it spaced out very well to make it look neater. And then each time you tie it through there, you tie it with a double knot. Um, <clears throat> try to make each next, next uh, set of wire will need to be several centimeters longer than the last. So usually about um, four centimeters more. So you have enough space to work with and then lastly you just tie it onto a paper clip and label it with the uh, tag like we see with this example and there you go you have made a bore model a three-dimensional bore model of an element